Hello, today I thought I'd do a little video for you to show you how to replace the nylon strings on a guitar. This is a job I'm not particularly fond of, um, so I thought it'd be a, a, a good thing to do and, and something for me to refer back to the next time I need to re <laughs> need to replace my guitar strings. Uh, in this video, I will be replacing the strings on my Godan uh, Multiac nylon guitar, ACS uh, guitar, and I will be using a set of Daddario Pro Art classical guitar strings, uh, reference number EJ46, and they're hard tension, silver plated wound in clear nylon, whatever that means. So, nylon guitar strings, they're not strung the same way that a, a conventional steel string guitar is strung you have to get it a little bit down and dirty with the strings themselves uh, the first string up of course is the E string and these are the clear nylon style strings um, and they, they can be quite uh, difficult to maneuver sometimes uh, first thing you need to do is just uh, push them through the the hole in the in the bridge and then turn the string around and wind the string through. Now I'm a bit of a a bit of a klutz when it comes to these things, so I find them a bit difficult to to manage. Um, so don't expect to do it you know, on the first uh, first attempt. Uh, so you basically you need to you need to wind the string around itself, and then wind it the other side a couple of times, and then pull the string through. So the knot is behind the hole in the bridge. It's um it's a bit of a tricky, a, a bit of a tricky manoeuvre, especially if you're not used to using uh, nylon strings. So you know you do need to practice. Of course, you can refer to this video and uh, you know and see how I do it. Uh, so now moving on to the uh, B, the nylon B string. Now what I'm doing here is I'm making sure that the excess string from the E string will be tucked into the loop of the B string and what I tend to do is repeat this across the whole bridge so that all the strings are tucked in nicely into each loop um, again it's you know it's a nice aesthetic thing it means you don't have any loose ends flapping around and it makes things look uh, nice and clean I mean you don't have to do this you could do it any way you please but this is the way I do it and um, when you you'll see at the end of the video how um, how how neat and tidy it all looks. So if you're into neat and tidy, try tucking the excess strings into the knot hole of the of the next string, as you can see there. So as you can see, I'm just um, going through, moving on to the G string, uh, moving up for a close up of the shot now, so you can see me threading the string through the hole in the bridge again it can be a bit tricky with these nylon strings sometimes um, but yeah you can force it through and then draw it round you know, careful to make a loop and if you're keeping your strings neat you want to catch the excess in the loop then draw the string around on itself over under and then twist a few times and that's how I'm uh, I'm making a bit of a bit of a pig's ear of it this <laughs> this way around like I said it's uh, I find it a bit tricky so I don't expect you to get it on off, off the back first hand and then with the knot behind the bridge hole you just pull to tighten the knot and it holds itself secure again it does take a bit of practice but as you can see once you've got the hang of it, you can, um, you know, you can make a nice neat, a nice neat knot of the of the nylon strings. So now we're just going to move on to the the uh, the strings that have got the, the these ones aren't the nylon. These are the the these have the um, the uh, steel element to them. So these are again are, these are a different texture. Now actually I find these sometimes a bit harder to uh, 
uh, to knot than the actual nylon ones, even though the nylon ones are slightly thicker. Um, I find that these ones tend to um, slip out of my grip sometimes. But as you can see, it's the same technique up, over, around, and around, knotting it behind the bridge and tucking the excess into the knot to keep it nice and tidy. And here we go again, so it's through the bridge hole, pulling the string back, looping it around, pulling it under, and then a twist and a twist to make the knot. Oops, see what I mean about being a bit fiddly? I just, just can't get the little bugger to go through. And oh, there we go. And a little pull on the string will tighten the knot up. And there you can see. We're getting a nice, neat collection of uh, strings at the end of the bridge there. And now to the final, the E string pull it through, this is the thickest of the string so you know you can expect it to be quite hard to um, to get it right the first time. Again it's the same technique up over, around and around, but this time you twist the string in the opposite direction so that the excess points the other way. There we go, Ooh. like I say these, these strings have a mind of their own. Uh, and it would help if I didn't make such a such a, a pig's ear of these things, but there we go, we've got the excess string and I just tuck it in the end there and we've got a nice neat bridge piece. Now, at the headstock, here's a tip you need to make sure that all your eye holes on your on your rollers are pointing upwards, purely for easy access to get the strings in. Um, again, some of these strings can be quite difficult to manipulate, especially if you're, you know, have a hard time with this but there we go we're gonna now thread all the low of uh, the the eye the highest E string through as I said I find these things um, quite difficult to uh, to manipulate sometimes so I've not edited the uh, the video footage too much this is to give you a kind of a real-time a real-time feel for the uh, the actual process I think it took me uh, Probably about 15 minutes in total uh, to do this, but then I was messing around setting up the camera and uh, trying to figure out the best shot as well. But again, once you practice, you can speed this up. So now I've gone through the eye hole, I've looped the string around, and it's a similar technique to, the, to the, the bridge end, just making another knot. And then you pull it and tighten it. Make sure the knot is behind the, the, uh, the eye hole on the on the bridge peg and um, and then you just tighten it up as required and we could do it again on the on the B string it's just you know threading it underneath up and over so here I am again making a making a meal of it but up and over through the eye hole out Then making a loop, threading the string through, and then twisting it to make a knot. Again, I always find these strings quite difficult to manipulate, and uh, again, it takes practice. But again, one you know, again with these things, it does take practice to get used to doing them. I remember that the very first time I needed to, to uh, change some nylon strings, um, I was uh, nervous as hell, uh, and I referred to loads of different books just to uh, to get an idea of what to do. And I looked, came on YouTube, and I found a, a grainy old video uh, to refer to, and I used that. Again, this is one of the reasons I'm making this um, this YouTube video is there aren't any high def. Uh, versions, you know, you can't always see all the detail. And I'm hoping that this will give uh, sufficient uh, clarity and detail for those of you who have not strung a nylon guitar before, so you, you know you can get the confidence to do it. Um, so there we go. So it's through the eye hole again. This is the G string. Uh, I'm probably 
just straighten and make sure I've not twisted any of the strings. <laughs> so, so we go through. Come on, Darren. Stop hanging around. Uh, that's it. Make the loop. Twist it through. And look, I'm, I'm having a real, I'm having a real time with this. <laughs> Maybe I should have edited this bit out. Uh, but here we go. I'm looping it through again, as we've seen before. And he's really, he's really messing this one up. I don't know. Everyone, you know, don't you talk, talk amongst yourselves while this, uh, this carries on. Um, and there I am, trying valiantly battling against the nylon strings to complete my task. Oh, oh it's like pulling teeth, isn't it? There we go. And uh, tighten behind the eye hole. Tighten the knot behind the eye hole of the pig the winding pig and at last we have success there we go and then we move on to the uh, the uh, steel strings on the other side again I find these uh, very fiddly to do but it's exactly the same technique this is the D string and uh, you just you know repeat the action as, as required Uh, the, the, the reason I was changing these strings was actually the D string on this guitar broke of its own accord the other day. I was um, sitting by the computer where my guitars are and it was all quiet and all of a sudden there was a boing yong yong noise and the string just broke without me even touching it and it made me jump. I must admit it was such a loud cracky boingy noise that I... I looked around and, and there I saw that the string had broken its own accord. I've not had that happen to me for oh, a long time. You know, those things don't tend to happen, I think. Yeah, so, um, yeah, it was quite strange. I put it down to uh, a change in the weather. The weather was quite warm that day. And maybe uh, the guitar neck warped slightly and caused the string to break, or I don't know. Who knows? Who knows why? So, as you can see, I'm slowly working through. I've just gone off. I could have edited that. I could have edited that back, couldn't I? I could have edited a few seconds off of that. Um, but here we go again. Now we're on the A string. Just threading it through the, the eye hole of the winding peg. Giving a little tug there to make sure it's nice and taut. And repeating the process. Again, the good thing about these strings is they are quite durable. Uh, they're not as um, they're not as uh, flimsy as um, as uh, steel strings on electric guitar. Sometimes you can bend those and uh, put kinks in them by accident. With these strings, you know you can be quite uh, forceful with them. You're not going to snap them or you know bend them or put a, a kink in them. They they are quite uh, tactile. And, uh, and malleable as you can see uh, as I'm doing this and um, again it's all a matter of uh, getting the knots in the right place and tightening it up and there we go uh, and finally we move on to the last string which is of course the low E string this is the um, I think it's the, the thickest string of the, of the bunch so expect me to make another meal of this um, and here we go, through the eye hole. And, oh, I think I've picked up a bit of speed here. Looks like I may have had a, have a second wind. And, um, make the loop. Threadle the string through the loop a couple of times to make a knot. One. To, yeah, you can see I've I've got confident. I'm getting cocky now, and then tighten behind the eye hole. Oh, there we go. And that one was done in record time. Now off camera, I tightened the strings up, and we're going to do a little flyby of the uh, of the final setup, so you can look at the look at my very neat string work there, very neat, and look at my lovely go then. Oh, this is guitar pornography, and I. Follow the follow the lovely lines of the neck up to the headstock, and you can see 
how lovely and clean my strings are but I haven't actually cut the ends off yet and now from a different angle we go back down the next stock oh yeah this is the stuff this is the money shot and uh, there we go again we're lingering over the body and the neck of the guitar and uh, and that's it my name's been Darren Locke and I hope you enjoyed my video now you know how to string a nylon guitar if you like it don't forget to leave a little like button and I'll see you soon.